absolutely. There's always need for this message. Um, by the state of Pennsylvania, there's standards that we um, write our curriculum based on. The curriculum is basically the blueprint for the class, the lessons being taught, what is being met by the end of the course. But these lessons are lifelong lessons. Our job is to prepare our kids academically, but our job here also is to prepare them beyond the high school level and exposing them to making healthy choices, exposing them to the things that ELM has written within the curriculum is very important because all of our kids, they're in one place, they're at the school. That's where you hit them the most. And so when they're in the school, we have to make sure we're pre preparing them academically, but we're preparing them for life. And um, presenting this information, if you can help one child make a good, healthy decision, um, that's progress. Unfortunately, we had, uh, when I was a, a vice principal at Newcastle High School, uh, we had a situation that happened there that, uh, that no uh, administrator, no teacher, no school should ever have to endure. We had a, a girl who overdosed and uh, uh, it happened in the school. Right? And she was a sweet, sweet girl and just, uh, uh, it was just a tragic, it was beyond tragic. It was. You know, uh, the ambulance came up, there was all kind of people there, and, and um, uh, so they pronounced her dead and that whole deal, and, and, and she was, uh, you know, she, she wasn't the most popular girl or anything like that. She was just a regular nice girl, that no one would think that this is, you know, this would be an issue. And, and so when she died, I, I, I went to the funeral, and um, I went and viewed the body and then went and saw the mother and, uh, and she just told me, she says, you do me a favor, Mr. Rosano, you don't, don't let my daughter's death go in vain. Promise me, she was emphatic, promise me, Mr. Rosano, promise me, promise me, tell me you promise you won't let my daughter's death go in vain. You'll do something about the drug problem up at Newcastle High School, and uh, I, I was, I was really taken aback. I, I didn't expect that to happen, and but she was 100% right. You know, we had an issue with drugs at the time, and uh, so I said yes. Uh, you know, I was yes, and it, and it stuck. It kept. You know how you say yes sometimes, and you go back and you forget about it, and that, it just kept stick. That little girl's face just kept. You know, I kept seeing it. We kept talking about it. So I, I presented it to the administration, and the administration wanted, we needed to have something, you know, that was going to protect us because it was a girl in school, uh, you know, overdosing. That's not, not good at all. Uh, we knew there was going to be a lawsuit. So uh, uh, our superintendent, Mr. Joseph Martin, put me in charge as the administrator in charge. And, research and see what we can do to make sure that this never ever happens again at the Newcastle Senior School, the Senior High School or the Newcastle School District. Well I think you know particularly with the, the breakdown of, of families uh, and particularly communities that uh, students get don't get to experience um, always the desired behavior that you know they might experience things that aren't desirable, the language, the uh, attitudes towards uh, drugs and alcohol. So I think by uh, shaping their attitudes and modeling the proper behavior for them, it's very important. Um, it's all the social and emotional uh, welfare and the programs that you're seeing today, um, if, if you don't help these kids, nobody's going to teach them. A lot of times nobody's going to teach them. So our schools, we've become more of uh, a triage center of, of getting students and, and, and helping them, showing them the right behaviors because they may not be learning it at home. Not always. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But I think here uh, we need to, to model those behaviors for them to help them be successful in life because we have an obligation to our kids.